Hey guys, this is Hydra from Xtrades and in this video we're going to talk about all the different ways to make money from trading. So I broke it up into four different paths, the first one being day trading, so let's get into that first. With day trading, it typically has the biggest learning curve and it also has the higher highest failure rate. Um, that being said, day trading is also the best way to grow a small account. So if you are good at day trading, it's definitely the best way to grow accounts because it has the best return on your money. But that being said, it's also very difficult to do. So day trading is the hardest at all of these ones. But if you are but if you are successful with day trading, then it's the best way to make money and it's the best way to grow um, small accounts. So high risk, uh, high reward. And uh, with day trading, it does require a lot of screen time. But since you are closing and opening positions within the day, you're not holding anything overnight, right? So that's also a plus because you have more control of your portfolio. Um, you're not, you don't have to worry about any risk overnight. So for example, you don't have to worry about a position gapping down on you, which is something that swing trade, swing traders or position traders have to uh, deal with. So you don't have to worry about that. So you have a lot more control of your PL, but yeah, it does require a lot more time. And it's definitely still very, very difficult. And the three main setups with uh, with day trading, I would say are momentum plays based on some sort of news or catalyst, and then scalping features and indices like SPY, QQQ, or NQ and ES, and then shorting pump and dump stocks. So these three setups are typically the best ones <coughs> that I've seen so far in my experience, but there could be more. And with swing trading, um, so day trading and swing trading are similar in that you use um, charts to make your decisions, right? It requires, it requires a lot more technical technical analysis compared to position trading or algorithmic trading. But uh, yeah, so with swing trading, the two main setups are breakouts and gap ups. And with swing trading, you're typically going, <clears throat> you're playing the long side. Where with day trading, you can go long and short. Um, but with swing trading, you can also go short. It's just more typical to see more long strategies work out. Um, so yeah, with swing trading, a lot less screen time, and you typically have a pretty good risk reward on the type of place that you're playing, if you know what you're doing at least. Um, so let's take some, let's take a look at some examples. So um, with Coinbase, so this is an example of a good day trade, right? Coinbase has been consolidating. This is a clear support level. Um, so here you could see that it was consolidating here with four bars here, formed a little flag, and then it broke out once it took that level here. And then over here on uh, yeah, on this day when it clearly broke down with big volume, that's a good sign to short here. And you could have shorted it here and taken profits around this area, right? So this is an example of day trading where you're looking at the five minute chart and making quick decisions. So for swing trading, you're looking, you're typically looking at the daily chart, or at least the one hour at the very minimum. Um, and here's a good example of a really nice flag setup and then a breakout, right? So you're risking, you would, you would probably place your stop somewhere around this 135 level and you buy around that 142 level and you have a lot of profit potential, right? So really good risk reward. But uh, yeah. Day trading and swing trading mostly rely on patterns. Next up with position trading. Uh, position trading is basically broken into two different subparts. So growth position trading and value position trading. So growth position trading, for example, you try to find ARKK names like growth names where they have a lot of potential to <clears throat> like 10x in the next 10 years, right? So for example, a position trader if they believed in crypto and Coinbase, then they would have been accumulating throughout this entire um, base, right? And they're looking for a move that can at least 10x their investment. So they're buying around this area. They want it. They want. They are probably predicting a move back up to all-time highs, right? So 430. So if you were buying around this time, around this hundred dollar range, then that's a 4x on your money, right? So it's more long-term trading with position trading, but you want to follow the trend and you want to get out as soon as the trend changes. So for example, with Coinbase, you probably would have, if you were a position trader, you probably would have broken, or you probably would have bought 
when this uh, resistance level got broken. So Coinbase has been building a nice uh, base here, right? For almost a year. So when this base gets broken, when this base gets broken, then a position trader uh, would initiate a position here and then uh, buy this out. And then, uh, yeah, when the trend changes, then you typically want to get out. But that's pretty much position trading. And there's also value investing. So this is just like buying dividend stocks or buying things like uh, Coca-Cola. Whenever this thing dips, you just want to buy buy it right on the dips and then sell it on strength. So that's just value investing. Um, buying <clears throat> stuff with low, uh, low PEs and uh, yeah, things like that. Things that don't really move. You're just buying them on dips and expecting them to come back and then sell them into strength. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much value investing. So basically buying assets when you think they're undervalued, that's value investing. And then there's also um, automated trading. So this is where you see a lot of hedge funds like high frequency trading like Citadel. Um, there's also other ones like Jane Street Capital. Um, and yeah, there's a few more like Hudson River trading, but these guys are all like quants. Uh, they deal a lot with math and stats and programming. So they basically build models where they backtest different strategies and try to find the best ones that they could use for like day trading or market making, things like that. So individual traders can also do this. And I know there's some traders that do this, but it's also pretty relatively hard and you're competing with some of the best programmers right so um it takes a lot of skill but uh it's definitely possible to do or it's definitely um, <clears throat> you just need to have the right software and the right tools and the right knowledge but uh, yeah those are pretty much the four different ways you can make money from trading just to recap day trading has the highest learning curve or biggest learning curve and highest failure rate but it's the best way to best return on your money and it's the fastest way to grow a small account swing trading is good once you have a decent amount of money and you're already trading with a decent amount of money and that's the best way to grow your account through good risk reward setups and <clears throat> it's a lot less screen time so if you're if you have a full-time job then swing trading or position trading is where you want to go and position trading again is just more long-term investments and uh, yeah, quant trading or algorithmic trading is uh, yeah, just doing high frequency trading using models and it requires a lot of math and statistics and programming. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with a trading mentor today, completely free of charge.